Um, I used to be a student of C. Freeman L. As far as meditation student, uh, my other knowledge is basically my doing my research, but his knowledge is based on, by the way, of the meditation, and basically he was trained through the Yogananda or the Yogi system, not just necessarily Yogananda, but all of the whole Yogi system. But I, but, but I, I saw the whole Yogi thing as a form of contradiction because I said, well, why is it that they fucking around with all these white people? You see what I'm saying? Also, I realized also, too, we got all these hundreds of people meditating in so-called Tibetans and the yogi people, and I say, well, hell, for all these people so-called meditating, and meditating is supposed to be the thing to turn the world around, and you got damn people in Tibet, and I'm talking about black people, it's been meditating for 40, 50 years, and ain't shit happening. Right. What the hell going on here? Then I, I'm like, what the hell going on here? Bangladesh is one of the poorest places on the planet. Yet you're supposed to have all this. And then I realized that in actuality, there was a separation from the ancient Vedic system, which is the untouchables of the pre-Aryan, or what we would say, because the original Aryans are black too, don't let nobody fool you, but the pre-Indo-Europeans who later on call themselves Aryans when they got in touch with the original Aryans of that thing, which was black people. Mm -hmm. So the Indo-Europeans came down, merged with the original Aryans and started calling themselves Aryans. So the original Aryans are black people. Mm -hmm. And over the course of years, this whole thing got muddled as far as the knowledge got dwindled down into basically it's a more advanced religion, but it's a religion in the aspect that they are dealing with another system than the original Vedic people that inhabited that land. And that was your Dravidian people, which goes all the way back to the African thing. You see what I'm saying? The yogis, um, but, the, but the Tibetans, um, they do all this particular meditation and all this system and all this yogi thing and all, and supposedly they're supposed to be ascended masters. Well, it took me a while to figure this out. If the earth was here in the beginning, what the fuck are you ascending to? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Well. All this ascension shit. This is all the white new age. Ascension, ascension, ascension. Well, if this is the command module, if this is the central location of all there is, what the hell are you ascending to? You see? And then you understand why the Egyptians or the Camites and pre-cultures of before 2,000 years always talked about going to the underworld. You see what I'm saying? As well as its connection with death. So what we have here is we got two systems, one that was developed later on, and yes, they do descend. They do ascend, excuse me. And what we're talking about here is this, about the meditation things, and you must be clear on what's going on. They do all this meditation, and I, I, I you know, I, like I said, I was a part of all this, but they do all of this, um, but they miss one thing. You can misdirect the energy within your mindset, and you can go from one path to the other path. And what's happening is this. They are able to break the physical illusion of the earth which is the physical earth, and they are seeing, and they go on the astral plane, but that particular astral plane is just another series of illusions, although it might not be uh, physical, it's another series of illusions. So you might have these different dimensions and these planes, but it's only a plane of, of existence or an illusionary plane. The New Age movement is trying to get everybody to ascend. But the ancient royal art of ancient Kemet, which is alchemy, and the ancient mystery systems of the ancient Mesopotamian, Egyptian, and African world was always talking about Amenta, which is the land of Amen, the hidden god, is the underworld. So you got two different systems that's going on. Y'all getting this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One is a system that was put in place 
by the so-called divas. The divas, and I'm going to go deeper into some, some other mythology in a few minutes. And those divas put in place a astral plane. And the astral plane is these different dimensions of the existence of the known universe. But remember, this particular universe has an origin. And by it having an origin, because it wasn't in the beginning, ultimately it is not the ultimate reality. The left-hand path of the underworld path of the dark side path is a different system which is talking about the overthrow of the whole entire universe to the original inhabitants which in actuality in a course of being shut down so long it becomes new. So that's the new Jerusalem. The other universe has its own existence of different astral planes but they were only in a certain amount of cycles as long as this universe lasted a couple of billion years that's over with now so the new age is telling all this ascension shit because they're still trying to find a way out and there's no way out for the people that was not created outside of this universe you see so they only are comprised within this particular universe. Now for the simple fact that you can go above the physical realm into the other dimensions, it doesn't mean that those other dimensions are higher because it's not about ascension, it's about getting to the original core of what existed before this particular known universe came into being. In this particular case, it was the Earth and later on call a mentor, a gaia, a torturous, which means hell. So the key is, is not to go up the astral planes to other illusions. And although you might not be in the physical realm, so basically in so many words, these yogi masters are supposed to ascend it. They just go up on these other planes and they might just be a part and they say, we, and, and, and they, say we, they have um, Christ consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. Basically, all they do is that they are basically outside of the physical realm and they have a, another form of consciousness that's outside of the physical realm, but nevertheless, it's still a form of illusion. So they are still trapped in this particular realm and they have done, done nothing of the sort based on the Christ consciousness. Now, the word Christ, because Christ consciousness is different. The word Christos is not a consciousness at all. The word Christos is when something crystallizes, it means you take something that's not existing like the existing universe. It is something that is crystallized and has made something totally new. And the only way you can crystallize anything is it has to be condensed and shut down into the most hideous form of the most gross elements. Any way, any way we put it, when they say Satan was bound, then Satan can only be, Satan has the only, uh, only potential to be Christ. You see? Now let me break this down based on scientific. It's no different than oil. Carbon is trapped under the earth with thousands and maybe millions of years that crystallizes into a diamond. You know what I'm saying? That's the alchemical process that the Egyptians found out that it wasn't about the heaven realm, it was about the hell realm and because we were bound down here in a physical body and being governed over by a bunch of lesser entities, we possessed the most power. Because it was only the overthrow of the prior world that existed before this that became bound down into this particular realm. And that, my friend, is what Lilith is talking about. The Lilith thing is Lilith was the great mother that refused to be a part of the new existence with Adam and rebel against it and went back to her primal station. You see what I'm saying? They said... Three people after her, the sister was talking about it first, 
They didn't have the power to overthrow Lilith because Lilith is higher than God. Lilith is the great mother. The God is just an abortion of a son that broke away and created this particular universe. And is masquerading as the Lord and Master. Lilith, on the other hand, is the most primal essence of the great mother and later on known as evil. That's why I say you must become evil. Eve, which is beginning, L, which is star. Primal star, a primal planet, which is the earth in its primal essence. You see what I'm saying? You get where I'm coming from here? The New Age is talking about all this ascension shit. That ain't nothing for white people trying to get off the planet. And all don't come because, because what happened was is in 1956 a group of white people ascended. And at first I couldn't understand that. how can white people ascend? But then again when I understood the real concept they didn't do nothing but go on the astral planes and really ascension is not the highest thing. You see what I'm saying? They're not ascending at all if the home base that was the original planet of origin was the earth in the first place. That means that they're going deeper out into inferiority. Illusion. Illusion. Maya. It's, although it's not physical, it's still a form of the same jailhouse. Even worse though. Yeah, but it's even worse because they even it's even worse because most of the people that are sin still thinks that it is reality. <laughs> now in the Rig Veda text, which is the oldest which is uh which is the oldest text in India, it also says that this illusion is created by God. Existence, which is a plane of existence, but there was all illusionary phenomena. So man's enlightenment, you are enlightened when you find out that this shit ain't real. They say the matrix is not real. What is the matrix? The matrix is what pulled over your eyes. A world pull over your eyes to blind you from the truth. And what? You are slaves to it. To it. So this king <coughs> became enlightened. When he became enlightened, he found out that the kingdom that he was governing or governing over wasn't real. It didn't exist. So he couldn't handle it and he went crazy. Everybody was telling him in the kingdom, why don't you act like a king and govern like a king? So his father found out about it and sent a, went and sent for a spiritual sage, which is a master or a teacher. And the sage came and told him, I understand why you're going crazy. And I understand that you are saying, how is it, how am I going to be able to face with the task of governing, governing a people and a kingdom that does not exist? The sage had this advice for him because he understood that the illusionary realm was going to take another couple of thousand years before it peters out. Maybe a million. I don't know how old the story is. He said, go back and govern the kingdom anyway. But the king said, how am I to govern a kingdom that does not exist? He said, we remember, you got one up over the other kings. You will govern the kingdom as it exists, but you got one up over the other kings because you got that one reality that they don't know. They don't know that what they're governing is not real. You see what I'm saying? You do. So therefore, if something fucks up and goes wrong, you have the ace in the hole to understand, oh, it ain't real, no way. And you can handle it better. Whereas the other ones will go crazy thinking that somehow their being and their particular manhood or womanhood is based on the kingdom is being messed up, that the kingdom is messed up. Is it it's going out? No. Oh. The kingdom is messed up. You understand what I'm saying? So in so many words, it's also a story that talks to us. 
all the fucked up shit we going through is not it doesn't exist in the first place. So once you understand that and enlightened in it and and is enlightened by that, you understand also that that's your way out. You see what I'm saying? Going back to this thing, that's what the woman Joanna going in the movie Eden found out. That number one, although she thought that you know we are going to ascend to this particular universe, since she didn't exist no way, because only thing she is is a bunch of energy, but she does not have the Christos melanin compound, which is the pre-atomite substance that existed before this illusionary universe came into being. Ultimately, she couldn't do nothing but come up form of the same fabric of the same universe and lose so her own consciousness was only on the physical realm that also has something to do with the gods that created this because they are an abortion and they do not possess that particular energy that is in the outer ultimately they can only live through the minds of the people that believe that they do exist. <laughs> so once you stop believing that God exists and believe that you are the original being that was fooled into thinking that this particular person up here exists and his angels, you understand, he disappears. But we don't have to worry about all the people following religion and TD Jakes. The only thing we got to worry about is the people in this room are a little bit of people in consciousness. And go by the same principle to worship a God other than yourself is to worship a God inferior to yourself. And that's why the Africans used to worship the ancestors because they understood that the ancestors represented that aspect of the people who, if they were down here in a physical body, that means that they came from the realm before creation. And that was the only thing that was real. So ain't no sense of fucking with them gods up there. <laughs> Deal with their ancestors. Even when it came to their African gods, they always used to say that they were once human like we were. Because I often wonder, how could a man worship another human? But then again, you don't understand what humans are. Humans are the one true gods of the prior universe since our world is built on universes that existed before it. This world is built on a composite of universes that existed before it. And those compound, um, composites of universes, those elements that's inside of our bodies is those particular prior universes condensed and they call it condensed chaos. You get where I'm coming from here? Now, this means that the only thing that is the essence of those worlds prior to this particular universe, they don't exist nowhere else in the universe and not on those particular gods because they were created outside of that, like an abortion, like a spook. Or, or, or as they say, they are a shade or an angle of light. Mm -hmm. Angels means angle of light but not the real true essence of the light. Well, how did they get their light? They first came into existence because they, the other realm, they were able, this particular little small intelligence was able to steal a portion of the light from the pre-existence, or as the reveal calls it, the uncreate. And the uncreate is the fullness of everything. From the nothing you get the absolute. And they were able to steal a part of the light from the uncreate and go off and make this alternative universe that you call the universe. But meanwhile, because we fell, the original aspect that they had to topple to make that universe, in its fall, it ended up getting back that particular light that they created and they were left with nothing but being a shade or a shadow or an image that's not even real but only exists in the mind of you. You getting this? You see. That's why the God of the Bible say, I am the God of the living, not the dead. Well, if you're the one true God, why don't you the God of the dead? After all, we all have to die and death is inevitable. It is the only thing that is certain. And he is not the God of certainty. He's only the God of the living. And not the dead. 
That's what the God of the Bible. That means he only comes into play doing only creation. In the beginning, there was death. Remember I said the Upanishad says? And that's why Osiris is the God of the death. And that's why in the Torah, the angel of death is Satan. The one true God. You get it? Same angel of death is this name Satan. A Dracula, a Dracula is Osiris in Egypt. Two damn realms. One is a holographic realm that supports light and an angel. It is a false light. The other one is the one true light, the dark side. And the universe was divided and separated between day and night. Now you got to understand where you fall. They got two aspects. The divas are those particular realms that's that angle of light that stole a little bit of light, but as you know, any type of light, hell, it might be dead before you even know that it's burnt out. It might take a billion years for you to even know that that light has been dead. And it only survives in your mind because you perceive it to be real. Get where I'm coming from? Those are called the divas on the diva shanic plane, and that's the astro plane. The other ones are created at night. That's the night breed. It's a movie called Night Breed, Clyde Barker. We are the night breed, the nocturnal beings. Because melanin is a night hormone. Because it is that death hormone. 